Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the msvcp140.dll is missing error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do first is just start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to use Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And into Google, just search for msvcp. 140.dll and go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be from a dll slash files.com website here. So go ahead and open that up and you want to scroll down. So near the top of the page it should be the most up-to-date versions and then going down should be older versions. Select the correct version for your Windows. So if you're running a 32-bit version of Windows you'll select a 32-bit one or if you're running 64 select the 64-bit download. Most of you guys, especially if you're running Windows 11, you are definitely running the 64-bit version of Windows. So we're going to select that download button and give it a moment to begin. And once it's done downloading, we're just going to go ahead and click the up arrow and select show in folder. And then we're going to double click on said folder and then drag the DLL file over to our desktop. Now you can close out of this window if you want and just so we can start fresh. And we're going to open up File Explorer. So you can click on the little folder icon in your taskbar, or you can search for it. And then on the left side, you want to select this PC. On the right side, double click on your local disk, and you can see a little Windows icon above the hard drive, which will indicate that's where Windows is installed. Double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder, and then go down to System32. Please note, if you don't see System32, you might have to enable it, the view. So if you click on the view up at the top and then select show, you may have to enable hidden items. So just wanted to put that out there. But it is visible in our case without that needing to be changed. So go ahead and double click on System32. And then take the DLL file that's on our desktop and just drag it over to a blank area on this folder. Make sure you're not dropping it into one of these folders in here. Just want to make sure it says move to System32. It doesn't say move to app v or move to boot you want to make sure it says move to system 32 before dropping it and you may have to replace the file in the destination which is fine so pretty straightforward process guys i do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye